Hi everyone, it's me Lotus. Today we have a very different video from my usual ones. I'm going through 30 art pieces I had made for my Jan Flower Challenge. So just to briefly explain it to you, in the month of January, I set myself a challenge to draw one type of flower each day and combine it with character designs. So yeah, basically I will show you all 30 drawings and tell you about how I feel about this process and how each drawing means to me. So let's get started. The very first flower is Hydranger. Is that how you pronounce it? Hydranger, yeah. To tell you the truth, this drawing was made very spontaneously just as a random sketch. But then when I looked at it, I don't know why, but I just felt an urge to try out with more different types of flower. If you have followed my art, then you know that most of my drawings include some certain flowers like peony and especially lotus. I mean, I love them so much. Especially lotus is also my artist's name, but I just don't want to stay in my comfort zone forever. So I told myself to try something new. And yes, I would say that this drawing inspired me to take on this challenge. For the next piece, we have passion flower which was obviously a failure, as you can see how messy and unclear the flowers look. But anyways, I love her expression, so at least it was not a total failure. But honestly, I still feel so sorry for these flowers. I will try to work on them more properly in the future. Also, I have seen, I have never seen this type of flower before. Passion flower in real life is really pretty, and it was really interesting to draw them. Next, we have Future. What I like most about this drawing, probably the flowers and her hair. I barely draw short hair for my watercolor paintings, but honestly, it looks really pretty. Do you think so too? The fourth piece is Plumeria. Please excuse me for my pronunciation. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. This drawing was really confusing at first since I didn't know how to work with her posture and then I decided to make it seem as if she was lying on a cheap branch. I hope it doesn't look so lame. The next one is Lily. Yay, another favorite flower of mine. I actually like her hair here. When I started out this challenge, I also wanted to, you know, create a variety of hairstyles so that, well, maybe I can consult in the future when I have no idea how to draw the hair in a more creative way. I'm really bad at hair sometimes. And on the other side of the paper, we have iris, a beautiful type of flower that I've never drawn before. I love their shape and the layering of the petals, and her gaze is pretty strong too. Here is orchid. Of course, I need to include orchid in this list. I wanted to expand this drawing a little bit more, but considering that each drawing only takes up half a paper, so I try to squeeze everything in this small space. I kinda like her. She's got cute hair and the way she's looking up to the flowers is pretty nice too. But the orchids, I'm not so proud of. The next piece is such a breath of fresh air. Although until now, I still have no idea whether I like it or I hate it. First of all, I like the flowers and the frame here. It gave the drawing so much clarity and structure. But then this girl, she looks a bit creepy. I mean, she looks kind of emotionless. At first, this drawing was a complete mess, you guys. I was on the verge of giving up on it. But then I thought to myself, whatever, I will try to make it look as good as, good as I can and see the final results. I have that kind of habit to stick with one piece of artwork, no matter how bad it seems, and the final look is this. Please tell me how you think about this eighth piece because I'm pretty confused about it. Next one we have Tilip, which is something I'm satisfied with. So I still want to keep the frame thing as the previous drawing, the flower are right and I actually like her eyes here, and short hair, of course, is pretty. My obsession with short hair didn't stop here. I continued with it in the next piece, which is Dahlia. I was inspired to include this type of flower after listening to the song Dahlia by G-Idol. They are a K-pop group, so yeah, that's how it went. 
The eleventh piece is Bleeding Heart. The first time I heard the name of these flowers, and I was so impressed. I include two frames here to make some nice effects, and we have the very first side profile face in this list. I love the side profile face so much, but I don't usually include it in my watercolor works. I don't know why. Probably just because I suck at it. And here is. Columbine, another type of flowers that I don't know, and they are so pretty. I like her, but then the color part of her shirt is a bit confusing. I don't know why every time I look at it, it resembles headphones. It's weird. And now it's lavender. Yes, of course, I like this piece. She is very elegant for me, and the whole drawing looks all right. And I have no bad comments. Maybe just the scarf looks a bit strange here, but overall, it's good. Now is rain lily, my favorite flower. It's so pretty in real life. I actually like how I try to experiment with a different composition here. We have some raindrops above here, and then the flowers are protecting this tiny girl from the rain. I like the idea. Now is jasmine. I didn't do justice to the flowers here. I have to admit, they look so off. Maybe I was lazy that day. I like how her hair looks, but overall, I don't think this is a really good one. And here we have carnation. There's just one flower, but it is okay. The eyes of this girl is definitely the highlight in this drawing, and her hair is something that I am very pleased to look at now. I just love these kinds of layering hairstyles. Next one, Esther. Another drawing with a side profile face. It is all right for me. Nothing too special, but it's not too bad either. The next one is one of my favorites, hibiscus. I really love how I arrange the flowers here. They look better than what I expected, and the girl is pretty too. I like how. Sad she looks, but the hands is definitely something that I was lazy at. I could have made it better, but well, anyways, I really love how soft her lips appear here. Paper flowers. The first time I drew such a short hairstyle in this challenge, her expression is a bit off. The flowers are okay. It is not an excellent one, but I guess I made the best use of my time on this day. I was sick on the days I made this piece and the previous one, so I couldn't manage to do anything better. The twentieth piece is how to say this? Agapanthus. Agapanthus. Yeah. Also, the very first time I heard of this flower, it's so pretty. Honestly, I have never seen it in real life before, but yeah, I just love all flowers that are arranged in circle shapes like this. I don't know if you can understand that or not, but like hydrangea and dandelion, they are all my faves. And I think this one, this is one of the few drawings that I focus more on the clothes. Her dress is quite lovely, and here is Bird of Paradise. I did make a watercolor painting with this flower in the past. I really like the shape of the flower, and its name is just so beautiful. I've just noticed that this drawing was quite, uh, has quite a lot of more details than the other ones. Her clothes and the paper fan. I think being more attentive to the details can always make artworks look better. Next one is Antharium. So you may see that she looks quite sad because on the day I made this drawing, I had gone through some very negative emotions. I was basically crying when when I was drawing this, so I couldn't create anything that looked、uh, bright and happy. But I'm proud that at least I could still finish this piece regardless of the struggles. And this piece is the snowflake. Um. I don't know. I'm not so satisfied with this. I think I was a bit lazy with the flowers and everything. It's just not right. I could have made more effort. The next one is Gladiolus. I like this drawing. I love how the expression of the girl appeared more positive when I got out of my emotional chaos. The flowers are pretty too. The twenty-fifth piece. We have five drawings left. This one is Honey Sucker. Again. Crappy hand drawing. I sucked at it honestly, but the other parts are right. Next we have pansy. 
It's been a long time since I saw this flower. I still remember the first time I saw it when I watched the movie Alice in the Wonderland. You know, the talking flowers in the garden. We don't see this type of flowers here in Vietnam very often, but they look so pretty. I really try to emphasize her face in this drawing and I love her hair so much actually. Okay, so the next four pieces are definitely my ultimate favorites in this entire process. Here is wax flowers. She is wearing Ao Zai, the traditional costume of Vietnam, and this flower just reminds me of our Lunar New Year holiday so much. She is beautiful. I know that I am like praising myself, but I really love her. I guess when I hit the last days of this challenge, I wanted to be as serious as I could with all the remaining pieces so the drawings look much better in the end. The 28th one is Sunflower, of course, also my favorite one. I really like how bright and happy and bubbly this girl looks, she's pretty cute. It's been a long time since I drew something as lighthearted and just bubbly like this. It was a really pleasant experience. Next one is also my favorite flower, Peony. I think I put all of my favorite flowers last because I just ran out of ideas. I really love her hair. It reminds me of Wendy's high hairstyle. She is a member of Red Velvet. It's such a pretty hairstyle that I want to have at some point uh, in the future. The flowers are okay, not the best ones, but I appreciate how I try to draw many of them to make the drawing look more complete. And lastly, you guessed it, Lotus! Of course I cannot finish this challenge without including Lotus. Alright guys, and that is it for all the drawings I had created for my Gen Flower Challenge. This is the very first time I was that consistent with my art and I think it was a huge achievement for me and I hope that this challenge can set the tone for the entire year. There were days in this challenge that I felt very frustrated and unmotivated but I still tried to push myself and practice my skills no matter what. My art is not perfect and I really have to work harder on it so I think this challenge really helped me in the long run. Okay, how do you feel about all these drawings? Did you pick any of your favorites? Please leave a comment below, I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so so much for sticking with me in this video. Don't forget to click the like button if you like it and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos coming very soon. Thank you so much one more time and I'll talk to you more in my next video. Please take care. Bye bye!